So, day one of Booktubeathon is officially over. Well, it's two minutes to midnight. I'm counting it as done because by the time I film this and get ready for bed, it'll be past midnight. Um, so, I actually read three different books today. I finished two, and I started a third one. So, I started off my day reading Coraline by Neil Gaiman. I finished all 162 pages of this. This counted for my read a book without putting it down. And you guys should have seen me with it under my arm, like, open. Under my arm, trying to make tea or do stuff like that. But, yeah, I managed to do it. And, yeah. So that was the first book I read for Booktubeathon. After that, I decided to read The Magician's Nephew. I managed to read all 202 pages of this. And this counted for my book that I really wanted to read. Honestly, I just pulled out of my TBR jar for that challenge because I want to read everything that's in my TBR jar. I want to finish it all. So yeah, I managed to finish all 202 pages of that. I uh, didn't read it in one sitting. I had to go to the bank and stuff, so... It would have been funny if I read two books in, like, one sitting, though, without putting them down. <clears throat> and after that, I started The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. I only read 73 pages of this, but this is counting for my book with blue in it, as you can see. Um, so my total for day one was two books read and 431 pages read. And I will see you guys all tomorrow night. Bye. So, day two is officially done done. Um, I did pretty good today, actually. I read the last 358, 350 pages of The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson, which was my book with blue on it. You see, blue, blue. So, with that, I had three challenges done already, out of seven. Um, also, in the morning when I was going to sleep. Um, I read 17 pages of The Daughter of Smoke and Bone. This actually was not on my TBR, but my stupidness, I forgot to put a book, an ebook onto my TBR so that I would have something to read at night. I prefer reading an ebook at night when I'm laying down and not a heavy physical book. That's just me. So I read 17 pages of that and that will be my book I read throughout the week going to sleep. Um, and I also s just started this and managed to read 20 pages of All By Myself by Jeff Dunham. Um, this is part of, this is my book for Last Book Acquired because this was the latest book I had acquired uh, by my TBR. I actually bought some more books before Booktubeathon, but I went off my TBR, so this one. So my total for day two was one book read, 387 pages read. And so my total overall for the first two days was three books read and 818 pages read. So I will see you guys all in a few seconds for you, but tomorrow night for me. Hey guys, and welcome to day three's wrap up for Booktubeathon. Uh, I know I'm putting all these together, but it's kind of like ingrained on my head to do the welcome to this. <laughs> um, so I did pretty good today. I read the last 328 pages of All By Myself by Jeff Dunham. I loved this book, you guys. Um, as always, with all of my readathon wrap ups, my full reviews of these books and my star ratings will be at the end of the month. Um, this morning, when I was falling asleep, like I said last night, I read 51 pages of A Daughter, the Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lady Taylor. And I also, during like the last 15 minutes of day three, I read 26 pages of The Horse and His Boy by C.S. Lewis. Sorry, I have my laptop on over there with Jeff Dunham's very special Christmas special on. 
I had to watch it because the end of the Jeff Dunham biography is this is talking about this show. So today I read a total of one book and 405 pages. And my total for the Booktubeathon so far is four books read and 1,223 pages done. So I will see you guys all tomorrow for Day 4's wrap up. So I'm recording Day 4's wrap up at like 6 in the morning on Day 5 because I passed out around 11.30 last night. So I just woke up, took the puppy out, grabbed a glass of water and came in to do this. Um, so, yesterday on day four, I finished the last 198 pages of The Horse and His Boy by C.S. Lewis for a total of 224 pages in this book. Also, in the morning when I was trying to fall asleep, I read 82 pages of Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lady Taylor. And I also read the first 138 pages of Fortune's Pawn by Rachel Bach. Um, so my totals for day four was one book finished and 418 pages read. And my overall total so far is five books and 1,641 pages read. So my goal for day five today is to finish... Fortune's Pawn and Daughter of Smoke and Bone and then to read my final book that I have for this readathon and then I'll get started on other books. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys all in a few seconds. For so I started off today by finishing the last 182 pages of Fortune's Pawn by Rachel Bach. Uh, my math got screwed up because for some reason I thought I read 198 pages of this but it was only 182. Um, so I finished this, and this was my challenge for book by author who shares the same initial as me for the last name. Um, I do not use my real last name on any social media, but my last name actually starts with B, so there you go. Although I'm sure you guys have seen it in, like, my book outlet unboxing, so there you go. Um... After that, I read 213 pages of Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lady Taylor. Um, I'm at page 363, and I need to hurry this video up so I can go read the last 60 pages, because, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, so, my total for day five was one book read, 395 pages read, and I have finished in total six books and... 2036 pages now tomorrow officially I'm gonna finish Daughter of Smoke and Bone um, and completely read It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han because it's only 277 pages so because there is another day of Booktubeathon uh, after today I added another book and that is uh, Off the Page by Jody Picoult and Samantha Van Leer so I just wanted to show you guys that and you will see how I do on that front. So I will see you guys all in a few minutes for... So day six is done. Um, at the start of the day, like pretty much right after I filmed the daily wrap up for day five, I finished the last 59 pages of Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lady Taylor, and now I need the next one, like right now. Um, after that, I read all 277 pages of It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han. Uh, yeah. I get these two mixed up. We'll always have summer as the final one. Excuse me. And after that, I read 33 pages of Off the Page by Jody Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. So my total today was two books read. 369 pages read, which is probably my worst day, but whatever. Um, and in total, I've read eight books and 2,405 pages. So tomorrow, so today, which is day seven in the final day, I'm going to finish off the page. And I'm also going to restart an ebook that is Everfire by Alexia Purdy while I am laying down and falling asleep. And then once I finish this, I will probably work on finishing that. It's only 202 pages, so I can get through it pretty fast. 
So, yeah, I will see you in a few seconds for the final wrap-up. Alright, so Booktubeathon is officially over with, so I'm gonna do my Day 7 wrap-up. Um, and I absolutely killed it for the final day of Booktubeathon. Um, I read the last 339 pages of Off the Page by Jodie McCall and Samantha Van Leer. Um, and this had a total of 372 pages in it. On top of that, I read 202 pages of Everfire by Alexia Purdy, which completely finished that. Or no, wait, 220. Not 202. That's For some reason, that's what the Kindle X-Ray said it was, but it was actually 220 when I opened the book up. So 220 pages of that, and that completely finished that book for me. I read the entire thing. And just because I had about an hour left, I read 60 pages of The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. So my total for day 7 was 2 books read, 601 pages read, and in total I finished 10 books. Started an 11th book, and my overall page count was 3,006 pages for Booktubeathon. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this new style. I am liking it a lot more than how I did these before. Um, and let me know how you guys did for Booktubeathon if you participated. Um, and I will see you guys all very soon. Bye, everyone.